what are AI-powered phishing attacks and deepfakes, and why are they so concerning? Of course, what measures are being taken to defend against some of these threats? Just walk me through that. So artificial intelligence provides the ability for an attacker, whether it's a nation state or a criminal group, or in some cases, even individuals, to gain greater use of, of a technique that, quite frankly, you as the target will believe is real. It will lead you to believe that this is a legitimate request for you to click on a link, to click on a photograph or an image. And it's really designed to tailor the idea that this is something that is legitimate to you. It seems very, very real. So it, it, AI uses this ability to learn and to understand, to develop attacks that quite frankly have a higher probability of resonating with the target. And they're proving to be more and more effective, sadly. So if we're seeing these attacks becoming more and more effective, what can corporate and government leaders do to minimize some of these risks and prepare for what is obviously quite a significant emerging threat? So you're starting to see companies, even individuals, try to use AI from a defensive perspective. Hey, help me understand, is what I'm looking at real? Is it legitimate? You see it in phishing attacks. You see it in so-called deep fakes where AI and other technologies are being used to create false images or videos that lead you to believe you're actually looking at a legitimate or real person or entity. So you're seeing AI also used defensively. Hey, help me recognize some of these things. How can I tell if something is real or something is false? And I also wanted to ask you about fresh reports that we're seeing that the U.S. is weighing a cap on exports of AI chips from NVIDIA and AMD to some countries, including countries here in the Middle East, due to concerns that some of these chips could end up in China and elsewhere. So what's your take on this? And, and would you support a ceiling on export licenses in the interests of national security? So I'm not part of the U.S. government, I don't speak for it, but it's clear that the U.S. government has a view that the proliferation of specific technologies within semiconductors, particularly those that and potentially increase the knowledge and access to artificial intelligence is of something that's concerned. And therefore you've seen U.S. policies put in place over the last several years now that are designed to restrict the flow of semiconductors and other technologies that would enable the Chinese or others to use AI, you know, for purposes that from a national security concern would be, your, the concern would be they'd be used against you. 